Anoka County used the portion of its Federal CARES Act relief money to extend help for those who are having a hard time paying rent or mortgages. As county staff told North Metro TV's Rusty Ray, every little bit helps. Mandy Meisner remembers her first apartment in Columbia Heights. I don't know if it's the last unit or the middle one, but I was on the third floor. Now, nearly 30 years later, she said she hasn't forgotten what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck. My 18-year-old self would never in a million years have imagined that I would, would be a county commissioner into politics. Um, but, you know, what, uh, what kind of that financial struggle taught me, and I, is nothing unique. I think most people who are first starting out, they're trying to figure out their way in the world, trying to establish themselves professionally. But it, it did teach me, you know, there is honor in all work, and that financial struggle w was, a, was a lesson. It's that passion that she and other leaders say is the reason they moved money to Anoka County Community Action Program and other services to help those who are trying to stay in their homes despite the COVID-related economic storm. It's challenging and rewarding all at the same time. It's really um, nice to hear from the people, I mean, excited and in tears that their rent's going to be paid. A um, little bit challenging because it's just high volume, fast paced and trying to help as many people as we can. So far, ACAP has helped more than 100 families pay sometimes several months rent or mortgage and all of the CARES Act money that the county granted is spoken for. We're doing our best to, to provide them other resources. They can go to the Salvation Army and try to get some rent assistance that way. Um, any, any other resource that we know outside of ACAP, we're definitely sharing with them. But they see it as good news that, for the most part, the money comes with no strings attached. It's money they're never going to have to come back and try and come up with and repay, which I think is a huge benefit. When you've lost your <clears throat> job, you've been cut down in hours, and nobody's hiring because of it, um, where do you have, where are you going to turn? And for county leaders like Meisner, that's one bright spot in a difficult year so far. All of our services for, for me really boil down to helping people in our neighborhoods, in our communities. For North Metro TV News, I'm Rusty Ray. We've put information on our website, northmetrotv.com, for how you can find out more about what assistance may still be available.